What should you do first when getting a new Mac? Best tips from longtime Apple users. Part 1, Content, Intro. Sign up and initialize your Apple ID create backups. Connect your home devices. 1. Intro. Give new Mac computer users some handy advice on what to do first. Share what to set up, which apps to get, and how to make the Mac performance as smooth as possible. 2. Sign up and initialize your Apple ID. Creating an Apple ID is a simple process that allows you to access many Apple services, such as the App Store, iTunes Store, iCloud, and more. Here's how you can sign up and initialize your Apple ID. 1. Go to the Apple ID website. Visit https colon slash slash apple ID dot apple dot com slash account. To create your Apple ID 2, click on create your Apple ID. This will take you to a new page where you can begin the registration process. 3. Enter your personal information. Apple will ask for your name, email address, and a strong password. Your email address will be used as your Apple ID, so make sure it's one you can access regularly. 4. Choose your security questions. Apple will ask you to choose three security questions and provide answers. These questions will be used to help you recover your account if you forget your password. 5. Agree to the terms and conditions. Make sure you read the terms and conditions and check the box to agree to them. 6. Verify your email address. Apple will send you an email to verify your email address. Follow the instructions in the email to verify your account. Once you've created your Apple ID, you can use it to sign into all Apple services on your Mac, iPhone, iPad, or other Apple devices. You can also manage your Apple ID and change your password, security questions, and other account information on the Apple ID website. 3. Create backups. Creating backups on your Mac is an important step to ensure that your data is safe in case something goes wrong with your computer. Here are the steps to create backups on a Mac. 1. Time Machine. The easiest way to create backups on a Mac is to use the built-in Time Machine feature. Time Machine is an automatic backup system that creates hourly, daily, and weekly backups of your entire Mac, including your documents, photos, music, and system files. To set up Time Machine, 1.1 Connect an external hard drive to your Mac. 1.2 Go to System Preferences Time Machine. 1.3 Turn on Time Machine and select the external hard drive as the backup disk. 2. iCloud, you can also use iCloud to backup your Mac. iCloud allows you to store your files and documents in the cloud and access them from any Apple device. To use iCloud for backups, 2.1 Go to System Preferences Apple ID iCloud. 2.2 Turn on iCloud Drive and select the files and documents you want to backup. 2.3 Third-party backup software, there are also many third-party backup software options available for Mac, such as Carbon Copy Cloner, SuperDuper, and ChronoSync. These programs offer more advanced backup options and features than Time Machine and iCloud. It's important to regularly create backups of your data to ensure that you can recover it in case of data loss. With these options, you can choose the one that best suits your needs and preferences. 4. Connect your home devices to your new Mac. To connect home devices to your Mac, you'll need to make sure that your devices are compatible with your Mac and that you installed. Here are the general steps to connect home devices to your Mac. 1. Check compatibility. Make sure that your home device is compatible with your Mac. You can usually find this information on the manufacturer's website. 2. Install software. Some home devices require specific software to be installed on your Mac before they can be connected. Make sure you've installed the necessary software. 3. Connect the device. Connect the device to your Mac using a USB cable, Ethernet cable, or wireless network, depending on the device. 4. Set up the device. Follow the instructions that came with your device to set it up. This may involve configuring settings, pairing the device with your Mac, or entering a password or PIN. 5. Test the device. Once the device is connected and set up, test it to make sure it's working properly. Here are some examples of home devices that you can connect to your Mac. 6. Smart speakers. Many smart speakers, such as the Amazon Echo and Google Home, can be connected to your Mac using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. 7. Smart thermostats. Smart thermostats, such as the Nest thermostat, can be connected to your Mac using Wi-Fi and the manufacturer's software. 8. Smart locks. Smart locks, such as the August Smart Lock, can be connected to your Mac using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and the manufacturer's software. 9. Smart cameras. Smart cameras, such as the Ring Video Doorbell, can be connected to your Mac using Wi-Fi and the manufacturer's software. Connecting your home devices to your Mac can make it easier to control and manage your smart home. To be continued.